friends, welcome back. And if you're new, welcome. My name is Nikki. I'll put my usual video on the screen showing you how to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you are notified of my almost daily uploads. I have a fun one for you today. Well, I think it's fun. I'm excited to share one of my reselling tips slash tricks with you. Maybe you've known this. Um, maybe you didn't. So that's why I'm here to share it with you now. Just a little disclaimer. Uh, how do I want to word this the proper way? Uh, stock photos are a personal choice in your reselling business. I always tell you guys, I don't try to tell you how to run your reselling business. I just share with you things that are working for me, things that aren't working for me, and you make that decision. I've been doing this part time for 10 years and I am one of the resellers that does use stock photos. Now, if you've seen my I'm an eBay selling jail video, you know that I've gotten in trouble on eBay. Uh, for using stock photos and I'm very open with you guys about when things are going great when they're not going great Just so that you can learn from my mistakes. So word from the wise Proceed with caution if you're using stock photos on eBay certain brands look out for that and you could get your account in trouble or suspended So you have to be careful um, You don't own the photos, right? But so, you know, just proceed with caution There's a lot more leeway on Poshmark in my experience with stock photos, but I'm wondering now that they've gone public I don't think that leeway will be still granted in the years to come, but we will see we will see, but I'm just saying, proceed with caution when using stock photos because you do not own those photos, okay? But I'm gonna show you in this video how you can find a stock photo for almost anything. Back when I first started reselling 10 years ago, this did not exist, and a lot of times I would spend, I'm not kidding you guys, I would spend hours looking for item descriptions, looking for the exact item, looking for the photo. Sometimes I just wanted to see a description of an item and I couldn't find the exact item. I was searching, I didn't know what to search for. This has made it so easy. So let us So the app that I use is called Google Lens. Now I have Android, so I know if it's available for Android, all you iPhone people have it because you guys usually get the apps first. But this thing, shows me stock images, it shows me descriptions of almost anything. Now, it's not 100% full, like 100% accurate all the time, but it is amazing and it saves me so much time. So I'm gonna pull out my phone, I'm gonna just scan certain things, show you how it works. It's a game changer, I love it, and I just wanted to share this with you, so let me show you. All right, so here's what the app looks like. It's Google Lens right there, you can download it, it's free, you just open it up. Now when you first use it, it's gonna ask you for permission to access your camera because it uses your camera to scan things and tell you what they are. So let us just start with this little, I'm doing a tech video comparing this to um, the GoPro, but let's start with this little like, it's basically like a bootleg GoPro and I'm comparing it to the normal one, but let's see. So you just get whatever you're trying to scan in that little box and then when you're ready, you click the shutter button and, well, look at that. The first one, it says no results found. Okay, why can't it find this? That's weird, let's try again. Remember, it doesn't work 100% of the time. That's really shocking that it can't find that because this thing has like, I don't know, 6,000 reviews on Amazon. Let's try something else. Let's try this body lotion. So I'm gonna get it in the box, tap, and there it is, friends. How amazing is that? So it's available on Walmart. It's pulling up like multiple lots of it. It's pulling it up on eBay. It's just amazing. It works really well for products, like beauty products, clothing. I'll show you some clothing items. I don't know why it's not working for this. Maybe this thing is so bootleg it can't find it. <laughs> but let's keep scanning. I mean, it works for the most random things. Let's do it for my... Um, I'm trying to move everything out of the way because if it has if there's a lot of things in the background it it doesn't know what to scan so you kind of want to have like a clear background of what you're trying to scan but let's do this calculator i got this off amazon so i'm going to tap the shutter speed so okay it's not picking up the exact calculator i just think first of all i just think technology is so amazing and also scary that it just knows it's a calculator. Like, come on, our phones have to be listening to us, right? I'm curious if it's gonna pick the exact calculator. So, tap, <gasps> it found it. And I did buy this on Amazon. That's really freaky, you guys. It's cool, but also freaky. Let me know down below if this kind of creeps you out. All right, so let's try it on a clothing item now. This is a Shein bikini I picked up from the Goodwill bins. I actually showed it to you guys in a, 
I think it was my most recent come thrift with me. So I want to show you how it works on clothes. So you want to get it in the box, tap the shutter, and then sometimes you don't always get it the first time. So I try again. Let me zoom out a little bit. There we go. Look at that, friends. Do you know how I would have loved to have this? Now, that's not the exact one. Third time's a charm, but we're getting closer, okay? I didn't realize it's in the corner right here. So there's another Poshmark description. I pulled it up um, before I turned the camera on. I don't know why it's not coming up. There it is. There it is right there. So yeah, it does take a couple times, um, but I don't care. That's awesome. That saves me so much time. And if I really want a photo, if I want measurements that they already have or descriptions, it's all right there, friends. Now that did take a couple times. Honestly, with clothing, especially new with tag clothing, it does not take this long, but even used clothing. Let's try something else. This is a light I have on my desk. I think it's basically called like a happy light. It's supposed to mimic sunlight. Um, it's really good for like in the winter, especially if you have seasonal effectiveness disorder like I do, AKA sad. But look at that, it pulls it up immediately. It has the eBay listing. I actually got it on Amazon. I'm sure you could scroll here, but look, it's super, it's a lot, honestly guys, it's a lot faster for like hard goods, but it does work for clothing and I just wanted to show you that. So hopefully you found that helpful. Like I said, it's not 100% like accurate all the time, but if you're looking for something, if you're having trouble, especially if you sell hard goods like I do or beauty products on Amazon, it just makes finding the exact item so easy to get descriptions, to get measurements. It does work for used clothing and I find it works a little bit better for new clothing. You can just scan the tag. Um, but it works for used clothing too, as you can see, you guys. So I love it. It's just a little tip that saves me so much time that I wanted to share with you friends. But again, proceed with caution with stock photos. Maybe, like I said, sometimes I don't use it for stock photos. I just use it to find the exact item, descriptions, things like that. But it is just so helpful when you don't have time and you're listing things daily. It's just, or even if you're not, it's just a helpful tool. So let me know in the comments down below if you found this helpful. And if you want more tips and tricks videos like this, do let me know, because I have a lot that I've learned over the last decade. You can check out my other videos right